In this video, we're going to discuss the third stage of Piaget's stages of cognitive development. That stage is called the concrete operational stage, and it is from ages 7 through 11. During this stage, children are capable of thinking logically about concrete or real events, but they aren't able to understand abstract logic. Now, part of this logical reasoning with concrete or real events is that these children understand conservation and transformations. And again, remember, this is something that children in this stage, the concrete operational stage, understand, but children in the previous stage, the pre-operational stage, do not understand. To illustrate this, we'll look at two examples. The first example is conservation of liquids. If you take a look at this diagram, you'll see how this experiment works. First, children are presented with two glasses that are the same shape, and there is the same amount of water in both glasses. They're first asked the question, how does the amount of water in these two glasses compare? All of the children, whether they're pre-operational or concrete operational, are able to say that there is the same amount of liquid in these two glasses. The experimenter then brings a third glass. This third glass is narrower. It has a smaller diameter. The experimenter then takes the liquid from one of the two glasses and pours all of it into the narrow glass. Of course, because this narrow glass has a smaller diameter, the liquid goes up to a higher level. The experimenter then asks the children, how does the water in the original glass compare with the water in the narrow glass? If you have children in the pre-operational stage, they'll see that the liquid in the narrow glass is at a higher level. So they'll say that there is more liquid in the narrow glass than in the original glass. However, if you have children in the concrete operational stage, they're able to recognize that there's no difference. There's the same amount of liquid in the original glass as well as the narrow glass. Another example of conservation is conservation of number. So again, if you take a look at this diagram, you'll see how the experiment works. Initially, you have a number of coins spread out in a line, and you have two rows of them. Initially, they're spaced evenly, so the experimenter can ask the children, does one line have more coins than the other? And initially, both pre-operational and concrete operational children can say that both rows have the same number of coins. The experimenter then takes one of the two lines of coins and then spreads them out, right? There's no change in the number of coins, but the spacing between each coin has increased. The experimenter now asks, is there any difference in the number of coins in the two rows? Children in the pre-operational stage will say, oh, well, in the row where the coins are spaced out more, it's a longer line. Therefore, that row must have more coins. However, children in the concrete operational stage recognize there's no difference. Just because you spaced out the coins more doesn't mean there's any difference in the number of coins. So that should illustrate a key difference between children in the pre-operational stage versus the concrete operational stage. Children in the concrete operational stage can understand conservation as well as transformations. But of course, they are still not capable of understanding abstract logic, which only appears in the last stage, the formal operational stage.